plain sky can become much more interesting if we add clouds to it. Lucky for us, it's really easy to do in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Today we've got a really cool technique for you. We're gonna show you one of my favorite tools in Photoshop. It's called Blend If. It'll allow you to make a layer visible based on the dark areas or the light areas. And when it comes to adding clouds, we're gonna completely remove the dark areas of the sky, leaving just the clouds to make a perfect transition when we composite clouds into the new sky. So we're starting out here in Photoshop, we're going to grab our move tool, we're going to click and drag from one image to another that's just going to copy these clouds to the new background with the mountains. Let's hit F for full screen and go ahead and zoom in. Don't forget you guys can download both of these sample images totally free, follow the link down below so you can follow along. Okay, check this out. We're going to double click here, we're going to just call this sky, there we go, and we're going to make that invisible for now. Let's just click on this little eyeball. So let's click on here background. We basically want to just select this sky so I can load it in as a layer mask. Two ways you can do that. You can go up here to select and then down here to sky. There we go. Now when I went to select sky here, it looks pretty good, but you can see it's selected a little bit of the mountains as well. So in this case, it's not maybe the best selection. Not a big deal. Here's another way to do it. Let's hit control or command D to deselect, or you can just click on deselect right over here fantastic the other way to do this let's just go right over here to our magic wand tool sometimes the old tools are still the best tools for the job let's go to the magic wand tool and we're just going to click on the sky now you can see it's still selected a little bit of the background so we're going to take up here where it says tolerance we're going to bring that and let's just try about 15. there we go we'll hit deselect and now we'll just click right here Ooh, perfect look at that nice clean border with the clouds now, if you need to add to anywhere, just hold down the shift key. There we go. And you can add to your selections too, making sure you have a nice clean selection. Again, I'm gonna hold shift and click up here. Just click a few times and then boom, we have a beautiful selection of our sky with a nice clean border to those mountains. All right, so now that we have this selection, let's go ahead and click our sky layer back on, and select that sky layer. We're gonna load this selection into a layer mask, which is gonna make, basically make this only visible in the sky. Okay, to do that, let's just click here on our layer mask icon in the contextual taskbar. Boom, click there, and all of a sudden, we have this image only visible in the sky. Looks really good to start. Now, here's the cool first big tip of this tutorial. Check this out. In our layer panel, you have your sky, the clouds. You have your layer mask, which defines the visibility, but then you got this little chain link. Now, the chain link basically means that if you move the layer, the layer mask is gonna move at the same time. Let's see that in action. So let's click on the layer itself, the layer selected. I'm gonna grab my move tool, there we go. And now you can see, okay, I'm moving the layer, but the layer mask is moving at the same time, which doesn't, we don't want that, right? I wanna be able to move the layer and the layer mask stay in the same place. So let's hit undo. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this little chain link icon and click it. It's gonna unlink the layer and the layer mask. Now I can take just the layer and move the layer and the layer mask stays in the same place. How cool is this? So the mask is defining where this is actually visible. Okay, we wanna bring it right down to about there, but I can move the layer and the mask independently. Like if I click on the mask, now I could move the mask if I wanted to. Obviously we don't really want that, but having those unlinked really makes it nice so I can go ahead and create my layer mask and then put this in place. Then when you're done, just click right here in the middle between those two, it's gonna link them back up together. Fantastic. So now the sky is in place. We've got our clouds, they're looking pretty good, but it's not blending super well with the original sky. Ideally, I take the clouds from this new image and the sky from our original image and put those together, okay? So what we're gonna do is use a tool called Blend If. And that's gonna allow me to basically make the sky completely invisible on the image that has the clouds, leaving the original sky to show through. All right, here's how we do it. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom out just a little bit, bring our image right over there. To get to blend if, there's two ways you can do it. You can just click right here, double click right here in this gray area. There we go, and you have what's called layer style. So if you've seen this layer style dialog, you are in the right place. Other way you can do it is you just go to FX, and go to blending options. There we go, layer style. 
So here's how this works. Down at the very bottom, we have this tool called blend if. You got two sliders. One is your current layer. That's actually this layer with the clouds in the sky. The other is the underlying layer. That's basically everything underneath it. Now, this allows you to control the visibility. So you can make the visibility of your current layer based on whether it's dark or light, and you can make the underlying visible whether it's dark or light too. Let's just show you an action because it's you'll just see when we actually start doing it. Okay, now I'm gonna work with this current layer because on this current layer, I have kind of like this dark blue, but then I have this really light area for the clouds. So if I wanna hide the dark blue and just make the clouds visible, here's how we do it. We're gonna take this slider here on the very left and we're gonna hold Alt or Option and click and drag to separate them out. Okay, that's the, that's the key. That, that's the most important part of using this blend if slider. You never wanna just click here and drag like this because this will actually result in something that looks like actually pretty fake and weird and pretty unusable, right? So go right down here, just make sure, let's bring that back to where it was. You gotta hold Alt or Option and separate these two sliders out. Now, when I drag this over here, it starts to bring in feathering and it's gonna make the dark areas disappear. Boom, and we're left with a beautiful transition. Let's just do that a little faster so you can see it happening. There we go. It's basically hiding the dark areas on this layer, making just the lighter areas visible. And you can grab this left one too, and we get something like that, which looks fantastic. So we're hiding the sky of this composite. Let's hit okay here, and now check this out. If I turn this off and on, you can see basically it's showing through the original sky. I can do this a little bit more, just to kind of like enhance this effect. There we go, and it's gonna look so natural. So there's the before and the after, you can see basically it's showing through the original sky, which is perfectly color matched, perfectly light matched to this photo, and we're just adding these clouds. Now let's check that out one more time. I went ahead and unlinked the layer and the layer mask so I can move the layer now, and we can see basically it's just the clouds showing up from my composite image. We can go ahead and place them exactly where we want, and we're good to go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Hit that subscribe button. We'll send you more free Photoshop tutorials. Thanks again, and I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.